guys if you haven't watched new youtube series of our channel short stories then watch it now the chapter 1 is out there click the link above to watch the chapter 1 ghost towns and villages hold a charm very different from the ruins of castles and fortresses mostly because they give us chance to peep right into the lives of the people who once inhabited them say 200 years ago it was the story of a community who had vanished overnight leaving behind a ghost village to narrate their tale a haunted village called kuldhara near jaisalmer is the center point of this tale so today in shorts entertainment we will know about the ghost town of india kuldhara guys if you like our channel and videos then subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for all notification Lying 17 km west of Jaisalmer, Kuldhara has a story. Some 300 years ago, it used to be a prosperous village of Paliwal Brahmins under the state of Jaisalmer. According to the legend, the evil eyes of Salim Singh, the powerful and debauched prime minister of the state, fell on the daughter of the village head and he decided to marry her by force. He threatened the village with grave consequences if they did not adhere to his wish. Instead of submitting to the order of the tyrant, the Paliwals held a council and people of 85 villages left their ancestral homes and vanished. But this was not all. Before leaving, they put a curse on Kuldhara that no one will ever be able to settle in their village thereafter. To this date, the village remains barren left almost the same as its inhabitants had left it centuries ago. It is also said that people who have tried to stay there at night have been chased away by strange paranormal phenomena. Many stories floated around. Some say churels or ghosts walked around in the night haunting the place. Others say that nobody lived here anymore as mysterious deaths have occurred. Kuldhara is a desolate place with a forlorn look and brings sadness to heart when one thinks of those unfortunate people who are forced to leave the land of their forefathers. So, I said that if this town will not be the other one, then he will not be the pain, he will not be the pain, he will not be the pain. If someone died, his soul will not be the pain or the pain will not be the pain. Paranormal Society of Delhi reached Kuldara under the leadership of God of Tiwari. A brave team of 18 members decided to spend an entire night inside the village along with 10-12 other people. The team spent 12 long horrifying hours inside the village and experienced some strange activities. From moving shadows, haunting voices to hand imprints of children on cars, the team members lived through one of their scariest nights. One of the members revealed that he felt someone touching his shoulder from behind. When he turned back to see who it was, he found no one. The main two observations they came up with. The team used a highly sophisticated equipment to communicate with ghosts and spirits. The equipment named Ghost Box was used to ask questions from the spirits. The spirits responded and even told their names. The team had a K2 meter device which is used to measure change in surrounding temperature. The device recorded a temperature of 41 degrees Celsius at one location and as it was moved a few steps ahead, the temperature instantly dropped to 31 degrees Celsius. The team used laser rays and found unexplained moving shadows. Is it because of the airiness of the place or the cool evening breeze of the desert? Not quite sure. But the legend and curse of Kuldhara definitely leave them intrigued. Kuldhara today is maintained by the Archaeological Survey of India as a heritage site.